Problem 11. As shown in the figure below, we have six semicircles, and they all combine together to form this hexagon-looking shape. And we're trying to find the area of that interior shaded region. So immediately when you think of hexagon, you should think of equilateral triangle. And when you have a semicircle, you can form, um, in this case, three of them, which is one, two, and three. So with that, I created the shape where I want to relate the white equilateral triangle with this dark shaded equilateral triangle. So if I were to expand this out and make it more clearly um, visible, the shape that I'm concerning would be looking like this, where I have this diamond looking shape and I have this little arc thing and I have this shaded region. I want to find out what this is because if we find it, then that's just six times that area and we will get the answer. So to do that, let's first find out how to do it. Well, can we find the entire area of this entire shape? The answer is we can because it's an equilateral triangle with a radius of one because a circle has radius one. So that's one, one, one. So root three over four times psi length squared, which is just one. So that's root 3 over 4, and then we can find um, times 2, which gives root 3 over 2, so that's the entire um, um, rhombus-looking shape. And then we can find the area of this little arc thing. Well, the arc thing, since it's an equilateral triangle, this would be 60 degrees, therefore that would be 1 sixth of the entire um, circle, which is 1 sixth times pi times r, which is just 1 squared, becomes pi over 6. So root 3 over 2 minus pi over 6 will be the region of here, right here. And therefore, when we multiply this by 6, we'll get our answer. So we get 3 root 3 minus pi, bringing you to answer choice D.